Today we are doing a motor replacement on a model 802. Now this procedure is valid if the back of your motor looks like this. And we can see that one wire is connected to a terminal with a red dot and the other black wire is connected to a terminal that's unmarked. For this procedure you will also require a soldering iron, some solder, and a pair of safety goggles. Now, in your EcoFan replacement kit, you will receive an instruction manual, an Allen key, and a brand new motor. The only other piece of equipment we're going to need for this procedure is a Phillips screwdriver. Now, the head of a Phillips screwdriver looks like this. The first step is to remove the blade from the EcoFan. And to do that, we're going to use the Allen key and insert it into this tiny hole located on the blade. Turn it counterclockwise to loosen the set screw and now the blade simply slides off the shaft. Next we have to remove the screws holding the motor bracket using the Phillips screwdriver. Now we can simply pull the motor. When we remove the motor from the Ecofan, we can see that the wires are directly soldered to the back of the motor. Both wires are black, but one of them is soldered to a terminal with a red dot, while the other one is soldered to a terminal without any markings. So in order to identify that this black wire should go onto the positive of the next motor, we need to mark it with a piece of tape. Now we're going to use our soldering iron to remove or unsolder the, the wires. And, we'll, and now we're going to take our new motor and we can see that this motor has a circuit board. But if we look closely inside that circuit board we can see that there's a red dot. So this red dot corresponds to this red dot. So what we're going to do is solder the wire with the green tape onto that terminal. And this wire gets soldered onto that terminal. Check the wires to make sure they're secure and now we can remove a piece of tape. Now we always simply slip the motor into place and now we're going to replace the motor bracket. We don't want to put too much force on these screws, just a tiny bit. The last step is to replace the blade. Simply slide it on the shaft. And the important thing here is to make sure that the shaft is flush with the front of the blade. And we turn our set screw clockwise to tighten it. And there we've completed the motor replacement.